So although your total testosterone may be normal or may even be high, which is actually quite common, the free portion is the portion which is bioavailable, which can act on tissue. So if you have low free testosterone, you can still develop symptoms of androgen deficiency despite having normal total levels. The most common reason for low free testosterone levels is elevated sex hormone binding globulin. For those who don't know, this is a protein which is produced mainly in the liver, it's pumped into the blood, and then when it's in the blood, it binds very tightly with testosterone. This renders it uh, not free, it reduces its bioavailability. In 2019, you can see it's in the red. 2020, I had it measured again, and we could see that it, it actually went up, it went up to 83 and it went back down, came back down to 58, but that's still much higher than I would like to see it. And what I can fortunately say now is the last time I had this checked, which was June 2022, you can see it's come back down, or it's come down to 48, which is the best it's been in several years. Basically, uh, I found a way to bring down sex hormone binding globulin, and it's really simple. For what it's worth, there's several potential causes for elevated sex hormone binding globulin, uh, let's just say that I had gone through many websites online had looked at many of the risk factors and I tried as many things as possible. Quite simply, none of it worked. The only way that I could find the solution that worked for me was by going directly to the scientific literature and reading through. It turned out that the solution which helped me bring down my levels was uh, fixing iron overload. So iron is one of those dietary minerals with a really high toxic potential if it's found in too high amounts or if the body can't process it really well. So men are much, there are much greater risk for iron accumulation or iron overload disorders simply because we don't menstruate, we don't lose iron. Uh, this is particularly relevant for males who eat uh, animal based or a diet which is very high in organ meat or red meat if they eat from cast iron pans or alternatively if you have any of the genetic uh, variations which might predispose you towards a hyperabsorption of iron, such as found in hemochromatosis. It's well known that uh, iron overload will lead to a progressive decline in testosterone, and this is thought to occur um, both at the level of the brain and the testes. So there's profound oxidative stress at least this kind of hyper inflammatory environment where the testicles become damaged they they literally lose the the ability to make testosterone there's lots of other stuff that goes on but it's also known now that iron over overload in the liver can also elevate shbg it can be one of the things that causes um unexplained high sex hormone binding globulin levels and summarized easy to share with loved ones the description below the title for this video has these summary points <laughs>